Hello travelers, today we're going to discuss the most OP set that you can build for yourself so that when you start a new character in softcore or in hardcore, as long as it's not the solo modes, you'll be able to put it on and fly through the content with very little difficulty. You'll be able to do it with such ease that you won't have to worry about dying, and that way you can just focus on either speed running and just running through, or you can focus on killing whatever it is you want to kill, but you don't have to be too focused because you can stand in the midst of the damage. Now, we had an OP set before, but unfortunately they changed the protections and everything into resistances. I won't say unfortunately. Um, I like the new system, but unfortunately the old gear just isn't the same. You don't have set health or set dodge or any of those OPO fixes late game that you can put on early gear. So we changed it around and we're going to be doing set resistances instead. So in this case I have here a level 2 character. Uh, you can put this gear on at level 1, but we're level 2 since in the beginning area we have to kill a few things along the way. And once we put on this first set, you'll already have some OP stats. So first thing you're going to notice, we're going to have a bunch of life. And we're not going to go over the weapon because depending on what class it is you're doing, it's going to depend what weapon it is that you want and what skills you choose is going to be based on what affixes you want on that weapon. So we're not going to go over that as there's a lot of diversity in that. But in this overall, the gear can be the same on every character. So we instantly jump up to almost 300 health. That's right, we're level 2 and we have 300 health. So what we have on these items is your set resistances. We have 6 set elemental, 6 necrotic and poison, and 6 ne void and physical. And that way, since we have six of each of them on all of our items, we end up getting 36% of all resistances right off the bat. And then our shield also has all resistance, which gives us another five, which allows us to have over 40% of all your resistances at level one, which is a bit crazy. And these are just T1 items, which means they're incredibly easy to craft. So we'll just go over each item real quick. You'll see the two resistances I have, and then we usually have either health, or armor. The chest is the only thing that's different that has plus vitality. That was just for some more health. You could put in uh, HP regen per second if you wanted your health to fill up a little bit faster. For amulet we have some health and armor. For the rings it's health and armor. We are using the silver rings. They have the move speed as well which is really nice. We did not put move speed on the boots. You can definitely put move speed on instead of either the armor or health but either one will work. The move speed will definitely make it a little bit faster through the campaign as you'll move quite a bit quicker. Alright and then for the character sheet we have over 40 percent of all protections. We're basically invincible at this point. We have halfway capped our resistances and we're only level 2. We have 268 armor, which is enough to give us a 33% damage reduction. We have some block chance, and basically you're just invincible. If I take this character, and we go out here to battle some mobs, I'm going to do it without even a weapon on. We're just going to take some hits, and I'm going to show you just how much damage you can take. Alright, we've grouped up a lot of monsters. Let's get actually just a few more here. Basically, we've gotten all the mobs on this map. And we can just stand in it. Look at that damage redistance that you get. Like... With that 25% damage reduction that you get at the end, like, we're just, they, they, you just can't die. They physically make it impossible for you to die. We're, we're literally sitting around 10 health, but we just, we can't die. However their scaling works, your character is literally invincible. Because they can't do a big enough hit to actually finish you off. All these ones and twos just isn't enough. And from this point, you could just kill them all or do whatever you want. Throw some hammers. And look at that. We're level 3. Alright, let's move on to the level 8 set.
Now once you hit level 8, you can throw on the whole tier 2 set, which means each item is going to have tier 2 of each affix that's on it. This is still somewhat easy to get and a lot of items will get critical success when you craft on them. So getting all tier 2s is really, really easy, especially even if you craft it from a common item. Now once you have this, you're going to have the exact same stats on all the items, but now they're all tier 2. This is going to end up giving us almost 5 100 health here on this character we're exactly level 8 we have 488 health and we have capped resistances we will no longer have to look for any resistances you're going to wear this set until you hit level 26 and we put on our third set which is at level 26 you can have tier 3 of all the affixes on this we also have almost 500 armor for another 37% damage reduction and we still have the same 24% chance to block. Now you are very very tanky with this. You can go out and nothing's going to kill you very easily. You're almost guaranteed to kill anything else before it has a chance of killing you or you can just continue to just speed run through the map and run past most mobs and maybe just use warpath and kill it when you get a large group together. Alright let's move on to the last set. Alright, once you hit level 26, you can put on your tier 3 set. Your tier 3 set is going to have a couple of different affixes. You can remove one of the each set affix that you had and put like increased armor or something else because you'll be so overcapped on resistances that you no longer need 6 of each set. You only need 5. So we changed them up a little bit. I'm going to hover over them so that you can see what's on them. But you'll see we still have all of our resistances capped. But we have a lot more armor now and we have over 900 health. Now remember we're only a level 26 character. You have 41% damage reduction and you have your capped resistances. Which basically means you're just going to be invincible everywhere you go. Now there are ways to die. You can just stand there and not do anything. But for the most part it would be you almost have to try to die to die at this point. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of gameplay with this character running around and showing you how it just doesn't take any damage. Also as a sentinel for instance any skill that you use is going to give you back 25 life when you use it like vengeance, rive, or smite. So using those or using vengeance for the extra damage reduction on top of it you just will never die with this build. But remember this is also a universal set you'll have to redo the chest and helm for other characters as it is class specific. But if you put these on any character, you're going to have a really hard time dying as you go through the entire campaign. And that's it for the OP sets. Thanks for watching.